Ribbon panels. As you can see, when we choose our 3D modeling workspace, we end up with different ribbon than we do with 2D. In our home ribbon tab, we have 12 different panels. And each panel, not each, but most panels have a down flyout. So we can extend the flyout and have more additional tools. We can press the push pin and have that uh, fly, that panel flyout stay pinned down or we can have it contract. So you'll find that there are additional tools when we hit the down arrow we can have additional items here. Now if I right click on any one of these uh, panels I get show tabs and I get show panels. You can see it has 12 different panels to the home tab and they're all turned on. But let's go say we go to visualize and I right click and say show panels. You'll see that not every panel is turned on. And for example, my animations is not turned on. So I need to click that on. You'll see that then my animation panel, panel shows up. So anywhere I can right click and say show panels and it will show the panels for that particular um, that particular tab then. And so we'll see that I can turn on and off things. We, we do have different tabs. We have solid surfaces, meshes, visualize, etc. And these panels then um, are really have all our tools that we need for the most part uh, for working in 3D. We do have ability to uh, come up to the end of the tabs over here. And I got this little down arrow and I can minimize it just to the tabs. So if I want more room on my graphic screen, I can minimize it to the tabs and then I can just pick on the tabs and it'll then pull up that particular ribbon. Or I could go just to the panel titles. And then so the panel titles now, I come in here under view, I get palettes, pa palettes, interfaces. So under home, I would get all 12 of those original uh, panels. Or I could go to uh, panel buttons. And now under the home tab, I would see all my modeling tools, my mesh tools, my solid editing tools. And this saves room, uh, gives you more drawing space in 3D. But if you want the full ribbon, you hit the button to the left and it shows you the full ribbon. And that gives you all the tools then. Now, I recommend the full ribbon because you're just learning and you need to know where the tools are at. So um, I would make sure I try, I use my 3D workspace and I would. Um, my 3D modeling workspace and then I would use all the ribbons uh, and see them and you need to then start learning where all your tools are at so our ribbon panels is essentially we have the tabs across the top and then each one of these has a panel for example this is my modeling panel and then each panel generally has a flyout with some additional tools and we uh, generally work left to right across each one of these uh, tabs. So get to know those ribbon tabs across the top and what panels are what.